Hey guys, and welcome back to Horror Realm. Just because it's November doesn't mean we're not creepy here. And we got a special treat for you today. I've did this video once before. It was really fun. We're going to do Ghost Machine Creepy Numbers. Basically, we're going to look up numbers that are creepy, call them, and see the response that we get. Please, guys, Halloween's all year round. Stay creepy. Let's go. So, I'm going to, I got these from the Ghost Machine. You just go, if you want to check them out yourself, just go to ghostmachine.com. There is a plethora of different lists. So, you, this is really cool. You could make this into a drinking game, doing your friends be hours of fun. So, we kind of went through trying to get the most latest updated. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't. My kitten about took us down, folks. We almost had a technical difficulty. Where you at, you little brat? Come here, ghost. Here's the newest. Come here. Ghost! He's biting the shit out of me. Come on! There's a fighter! So Ghost tried to climb our camera pole. Say hi to YouTube, Ghost! Hi, YouTube! I'm a star! This is Ghost. He's awesome. He's got sharp claws. Okay, so he's gonna go attack the camera again. That's why I got my lovely camera guy, Scott Mc... <laughs> Someone back there. I'm gonna give you his last name because you guys might be weird. <laughs> and, uh, you creepy fucked. And uh, he's protecting the camera stick. So, I'm taking uh, three phones to do this. We're using my my wife's. Wow, first time I said that on camera. My wife's got married October uh, 31st, Halloween. That was what I did. So that's why I haven't been shooting film for a while. Because I got married and had to do all that. But we're back at it. So my wife's phone... My best friend camera guy's phone and my phone, which if you guys want to know what I shoot video on, it's a Note uh, 20 Ultra is what I use. I used to use like GoPros and stuff, but uh, cameras, especially camera phones that have come a long way, especially the high-end ones, uh, that's what I use. You don't need another camera. You can really just do it all your phone, edit on your phone. I also have a laptop I use sparingly. But most of the work you see on my, cam uh, on my channel is done through my phone, which is pretty awesome and saves a lot of time. So, back to the machine. So what we're going to do, I think there's 15 of these bad boys. i got to clear off Scott's nose. <laughs> i got uh, stupid pop-ups on here we have to clear off. Get hers going. I feel really important using three. I feel like a VIP, guys, using three phones. All right, so let me cookies. I do not. Okay, so we're getting that done. Getting that out of the way. So our first number. So this will be 11 creepy phone numbers that actually work. Okay. Here we go. So our first one. Uh, published originally the list of 2018. Well, yeah. So this a list was originally in 2018, but they've updated to 2021. So that's pretty cool. Because we did this actually, Scott. It was probably around that time. 2017, 18, we did this the first time. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell you if it's the uh, list that we used. It could be and it could not be. I just remember having a blast with doing it. That's why I wanted to revisit this. So this is an updated version from their list from 2018. So let's scroll down and find the first number, which is 187777-CREEP or 7377. So let's, oh Lord, uh, here we go. 1877, uh, 7773. Sorry, fiance or wife. Hope we'll have evil people calling you. Let's put this on speaker. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement for Welcome to Verizon Wireless. So, Your call cannot be completed. <laughs> apparently, Please check the number. we'll do a few more. She might have not have the calling we need. We have to switch phones over. So, we'll try it again. Gotta love live filming, folks. Great. So, we'll try a different number to see if that's the case. Alright. So, let's try. I don't even want to read about it. So, this is 64... Okay, we're trying the next one. We're going to see if her phone actually has... Because well, a lot of these are international. 
you really need like my phone plan i have everything so if you're going to do these find one of your buddies or girlfriend's phone that's unlimited everything that's really going to help you out in this situation especially if you don't have uh, out-of-state calling and international calling there's a pro tip right there is it i'm not a pro okay so six <laughs> i'm an idiot Okay, six, six, four, six, eight, six, eight, one, eight, four, four. This is number number two, just for you. Now, let's see if it works. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. Good. We know that her phone works. Well, we're batting O for suck. So we've got O for two, Scooby-Doo fans. So that was our second number. We did find out that my wife's phone, my wife's phone. it works. But <laughs> of course it works. It makes long calls. You know what I'm saying? Long, long. Yeah. Okay. So we're moving to the, well, we're moving to the third number. Kitty, be good. If you're a Stranger Things fan, you'll probably recognize this number. It's Mary Bur Oh, it's Mary Berman's phone number. Okay. Is it supposed to do anything? She's dead now, so we're going to find out. Six, our third number, six, one, eight, six, two, five, eight, three, one, three. Murray, are you home? Hi. You have reached the residence of Murray Bauman. Mom, if this is you, please hang up and call me between the hours of 5 and 6 p.m. as previously discussed, okay? And this is Joyce. Joyce, thank you for calling. I've been trying to reach you. I, I have an update. It's about, well, it's, uh, it's probably best if we speak in person. It's not good or bad, but it's something. If this is anyone but my mother or Joyce, well, you think you're real clever getting my number, don't you? Well, here's some breaking news for you. You're not clever. You're not special. You are simply one of the many, many nimwits to call here, and the closest you will ever get to me is this pre-recorded message. So, at the beep, do me a favor. Hang up and never call here again. You are a parasite. Thank you, and good day. You're a parasite. Sorry, this mailbox is full and cannot accept so any... So, that's really cool. So, Thank you for using the voicemail which is actually getting right... Which, this is uh, supposed to give us uh, tips on Season 4, Stranger Things. It's getting ready to drop. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and if you uh, follow it intimately. So, it's interesting they use the word parasite. So maybe we're going to have something to do with the last season. We know that um, the big guy, I forget his name, has been so long. He got captured by the Russians at the end. Um, so maybe the, uh, the Russians are up to something with some parasites. And you know that big thing, the uh, Demogorgon is going to, you know, that big octopus thing is going to show up. So it's interesting. I didn't think parasites, huh? We're introducing some parasites. Okay, that's pretty cool. That worked and gave us some download and Stranger Things 4. And if you want to hear that number yourself, I'll reiterate it to you because that's pretty cool, guys and gals and aliens. It's 618-625-8313. That's for the Stranger Things clues on Season 4. Pretty cool. So that made this uh, a lot more interesting. I'm going to have to do some research about that, see if they get any other numbers. Kind of reminds me of something that uh, other franchises would do to have an inclusion to help be a part of the marketing thing to draw people in. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's find House on Haunting Hill. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, da -da, next number. It takes a minute for the phone to load. It's a little... It's a little slow like me. It's okay. Okay, folks. We have number five, I think. 
I uh, went to a small timey school. So four, says the camera. We have number four, for sure. So, favorite this. Uh, so, like other long time favorite spooky phone numbers, this one has special place in my heart. I, I don't know. Not my. I didn't write this. Not my heart. This guy's heart. So, uh, because of the area code 508, numbers are based in Massachusetts, where I grew up. True, I haven't lived there in uh, close to two decades now, but still old habits die hard and all that. And like all the other Massachusetts-based numbers, it isn't clear at all what's going on when you call. So, let's call Massachusetts. Maybe we'll get some in Town, Boston. Okay. 508, by the way, gents, 69, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Zero, six, one, four, three. Let's go. Spiker phone, spanker phone. The voice. Burn up, sorry guys. Put my hearing aid back in because that that was intense. So we went from uh, a construction site to a bowling alley to a bunch of pop cans falling off. Okay, that was interesting. This has got fun now. See, this is why I like doing these things because you never. Life is like a box of can't say that because of copyright, but you never know what you're gonna get. All right, so that's how we do this. Hey, hey you later. Thank you, Creepy. So that number is 508-690-6143. And you actually, so a couple of these have worked so far. So we're about 50%. That's pretty cool. That's a Massachusetts number. All right. So doppelganger. Oh, okay. I don't like reading all these because some of them are just so bullshit. But I'm into the doppelganger. You know, you've got an evil twin or a good twin out there, out you in the world somewhere, or a different, uh, you know, universe and all that stuff. So we're going to read this and check it out. Legends surrounding the so-called doppelganger numbers, a phone number which, when you dial, allows you to converse with your own doppelganger, are popular in Japan. It said that calling one such as 073 499 nine 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 or zero nine zero twenty forty eight nineteen seventy two might result in anything from an unselling experience to a potential death curse <laughs> yeah gotta love me some death curse so uh that's cool so i'm guessing we're gonna call a doppelganger 
But although these kinds of numbers are well known in Japan, they're not limited to Japan. Um, you see 909-390-0003 is a doppelganger number you can call within the United States. <laughs> um, oh, 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 tits. Saggy tits. Okay, so let's 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 give her a college try. Nine zero nine. You're so fine. I like it from behind. Okay, nine oh nine three nine zero one two three. So it's nine oh nine three nine zero 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 three. Let's go meet the evil me. Ontario, Ontario. Can Hello? Hello? This says Ontario, Ontario Canada. Canada. Yeah. Ron, are you there? Ron, are you... Evil Ron. Evil Ron. What's, up, What's up, cousin? My evil My mother evil from down under. under. Kind of creepy. Kinda so basically, maybe it's a doppelganger thing because I can hear myself talk. So maybe that's where it gets the doppelganger thing. Will you shut the fuck up? Okay. Hey, yo! Canada sucks. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting haunted tonight. Hey, you may be evil. But you don't talk much. Don't talk. Okay, so we, right, we lasted the, the minutes, minutes, what she said. said. Pretty cool, Pretty I guess. Cool, I guess. <laughs> the fuck off. <laughs> Not very evil, though. Okay. So that number is 909-390-0003 for your evil docker doppelganger. So that's kind of cool. So let's jump right into the next one. Oh, SCPs. I don't even got to read anymore. Uh, SCPs is, is a fake, fictitious thing on uh, founded on uh, YouTube. Uh, basically, SCPs are supposed to be these secure... Oh, what was They used to get really... It's secure, contain... Secure, contain, protect is what it stands for, I believe. I, I could be totally wrong. But basically, there's these fake uh, creatures that people write... Uh, little pages and stuff about, and this, they uh, basically send them in. If they're good enough, they make an SCP about them. So let's call this SCP, see what kind of, uh, you know, power it has. Because all the SCPs, like Slenderman's an SCP. You know, so, um, and there's all kinds of them. And they made a game about SCPs. Uh, it's free to play and download. I think it's on, a, uh, I forget that platform now, so we're just going to call the number. 951. But yeah, uh, that's pretty, and I like that because anyone can write into these things and you can, if you're good enough and if your story is good enough and your creature or demon or whatever is believable enough, you get to do it. 951-572-2602. Maybe we'll get Slenderman. You have reached the SCP Foundation. Southern California, Division 19. Please leave a message including date and time of incident, location of incident, and That's a description cool. of the incident itself. That's cool. Thank you. Uh, yes, this is uh, in West Virginia. This is not an incident. We're just doing creepy phone calls, and uh, I love all your SCP creatures. Keep doing what you're doing. Later. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, that's what the SCP thing was. Uh, uh, luckily, I love my horror and know about a little bit. Um, basically, it's this big thing that everybody's doing now and started off very small, but uh, na apparently it's nationwide now. And you can call in and report things, I guess, now. And if they like it, maybe they'll call you back and you'll get the right report and get to actually have your own little SCP in their archives. Pretty cool. That's cool. Moving on. So, so far, though... Gotta say, 
I got a skirt on with no underwear and it's not blowing it up any. I ain't feeling a draft. It ain't good. I'm not scared. I'm just, uh, not as eventful as the first. I guess it's hard to beat the original, isn't it, folks? Okay, so now we've got another SCP Foundation later. So we've got another SCP hotline. So, what, what's up with... Is the SCP shit this popular? See, I never really got into it because I'm not much of a writer. And you gotta write your own creatures. Don't you get tired by the camera. My camera guy. He hates me. He doesn't hate, he doesn't hate me. He doesn't. He, Hello. You have reached the Foundation at the Midnight Radio Hotline. Our site is currently experiencing a site-wide lockdown due to a containment breach. Please stay on the line and leave your message after the tone. Stay safe. There is no containment breach, but have a great day. So basically, though, that's cool. Like sometimes the SCP, the creatures where they hold them, will get out and they make little stories. It's basically storytelling about creatures. That's pretty cool, guys. The uh, the most here's a new number. It's four eight six three four twenty eight zero six. The most Persistent legend associated with creepy phone numbers is 408-634-2806. This number is so-called the Red Room number. That is if you either call it or answer a call coming from it, you will be tracked down, kidnapped, and brought to a Red Room, tortured, and killed. So wait. I'm using my wife's phone. <laughs> um... Or both during a live broadcast viewable via the deep web. Awesome. This isn't actually the case. The Red Room numbers are simply an urban legend, albeit all, it's uh, used quite effectively in the video game series Welcome to the Game. Okay, so there's a whole web series apparently about this number. Okay. But there's no but there but there's no denying how unsettling the message on the other end of this phone number is. Oh, well well why am I reading anymore? Shall we uh connect to the dark web? Four oh eight I used to do that by the way. And there's some freaky shit on dark web. Back when it was uh onions and stuff like that, but we won't do that. Stay off the dark web. Unless, here's how you get on the dark web. Okay, you don't use your own computer. You buy a cheapo computer that you don't want to use. Drive out of state. Use someone's free Wi-Fi so nobody can track you. That is the only way you get on the dark web. Because don't use your house. Don't have nothing on the computer. They will find, I mean, you, most generally you'll be fine. But, there is some crazy shit on it. The way to be safe, take a weekend, drive out of state, get a burner computer, get on a free Wi-Fi network. And don't put anything on it. I'm warning you, don't do it from your house. It's your warning from the creepster himself. So this number is 408-634-2806. Let's hear this creepy message. Okay. Not scared again. I'm really disappointed in our list so far. But it only takes one creepy number to turn around. The binary number. Let's just call the binary. It sounds like a code. Uh, the creepy fun number. All right, let's do it. It says it's a binary, but it's supposed to be for codes. It's eight, two, eight, seven, five, six, oh, one, oh, nine. So it's eight, two, eight, seven, five, six, oh, one, oh, nine. Let's go. 
supposed to be really creepy and have a lot of codes and flashing light. the matrix do you want the blue pill or the red pill neo so basically yeah it's uh basically binary code you can figure it out especially from north of charlotte uh base which okay hold on we can Did read you hang back it up? i don't know i think don't it's mind. still on yeah fuck them <laughs> so Oh, cool. So, someone in North Carolina, Charlotte, who did that message. That's special. So, here's a creepy... Since the mid-2010s, a creepy phone number has circulated that uh, uh, may belong to Wrinkles the Clown. What the fuck is Wrinkles? Um, Wrinkles being a nightmarish clown character dreamed up by a 60-something retiree who, for the right price, will come to your house and scare your kids into behaving. What the fuck? Okay, we're on to something here. I already like it, pedo. Not. Um, Daisy. <laughs> it's his brother here. <laughs> um, uh, will come to your house and scare your kids into behaving. Video footage of wrinkles. No. Doing just that in 2014, it went viral. 2015, news coverage. Okay. Uh, the document... Okay, in 2019, there's even a documentary about this person. Wrinkles the Crown, Clown Documentary. Wrinkles is uh, a construct. He was built piece by piece. A person who keeps their own identity in the shadows using anatomy of the internet. Wrinkles is a manufactured legend. Well, we got to call Wrinkles to see if we can unfold some of his skin. Wrinkles. Okay, here we go. 407. I need, I need to scare my kids that I don't have into shutting the fuck up. Seven. I wonder if he'll fucking works go. works on your wife. Fucking my neighbors, <laughs> cocksucking bastards. I'm going to send old Wrinkles to visit their asses. Yo, Rinky, I got a job for you. 407-734-0254. Now I you reach Wrinkles the Clown. I'm not here to take your call. Leave me a message, I'll call you back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, that's awesome. Apparently, he's for, that's great. You got any problems? Just call Wrinkles. But you better fucking pay him. <laughs> So, that was pretty cool. That's probably the best one we've got so far. The, the other stuff kind of soft. Alright, so the, it, there is a documentary. That's cool. So, here's another number. Uh, the Super Brothers is the only video game. Kentucky Ride Zero. Magical Release Point. Check the Adventure Games. <laughs> no one cares. So basically, this number is just secret tourism. They kind of like secret menus at Dunkin' Donuts and secret menus at different restaurants. You call this number, I'll give you hidden places to tour. So we're going to check it out. And this one is based in like... Uh, uh, this number for is in Kentucky. So I guess you were going to call this number and we're going to get a secret place to go to Kentucky to visit. All right. This list turned out to be not so much creepy as just different. I'm kind of kind of sad. Man, I'm not to send wrinkles after whoever made this number after their ass or this list. So this uh, tourism hidden tourism number is a uh, is in Kentucky. The number is two zero seven three zero one five seven nine seven. Because why not? 
So let's see what we get, folks. You have reached a non-working number at Penn Bay Medical Center. Please check the number and dial again. Or call 207-301-8000 for assistance. Thank you. The Medical Center. Oh. Oh, we just got to call this one real quick. My buddy's phone's dying here. So next one. Damn, that was fast. This number is 786 Talk about a curtain call phone. Here we go. Okay, that was creepy, but we got to move quick because my buddy's phone died, and we got to get this next number. Just look. I'm going to sell the number as fast as I can. If you want to hit them, hit them. That's you guys. You want to call them. 630 Just looking for numbers, guys, for this wonderful phone. Dial. Okay, no one answer. So we're moving on. This is a number where you're supposed to call some creepy man supposed to sob and cry. Nine seven eight four three five oh one six three. Let's go. <laughs> He's laughing. He's not crying. I think it's wrinkles the current clown. Ain't getting no business this week. Poor wrinkles. And it goes on a loop. And that is our last number of our list, actually. So, guys, this is probably a terrible list to try I'll, I'll link it in the description i definitely wouldn't use this list it was kind of shite but i'm gonna give it to you guys in the description below the link will be down if you guys want to try the clown or the binary code or the crying man and there's a couple others that did okay and a couple that didn't work even though it's updated 2021 it still didn't work so there's probably better lists i give this like a three out of eleven not not great not scary um, a lot of SCPs, which aren't scary, especially when you know they're not real, 100%. Um, never did I feel like, and, and the entertainment wasn't great. I never really pulled me into it, so that sucks. So, we're going to stay creepy and look for another list. If you like this video and like to see some more creepy numbers, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and as always, guys, stay creepy.